All right, everybody, welcome to Hemingway Residence here in Bucharest. Now, I think this building has apartments that people have been living in for months and months or years and years even, as well as hotel rooms, I think, mm -hmm. as well as Airbnbs like this. Yeah. So depending on how long you're staying in Bucharest or what your budget is, maybe it's worth looking into Hemingway Residence. Ours is like a full apartment that's uh, on Airbnb, but I think there's hotel rooms because there is a cleaning staff that's cleaning yeah. rooms every day. So I think there's also maybe like no kitchen hotel rooms. Yes. Not sure. Right. Worth I think so. Too. I will say we'll start in the kitchen. Today we'll do our full apartment tour as well as walk around the neighborhood. <laughs> We've been here for exactly one month. We will be leaving tomorrow. Right. So, so far so good in Romania. We've had a really great start meeting all our friends and the weekend with Adrian and everything. Yeah. And the apartment's been really good. Uh, pretty simple kitchen, as you can see, electric stove, electric oven. I will say the fridge is in the cupboard, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Hidden away fridge with the uh, freezer on top. Right. Not bad at all. You have to pardon all of our stuff. We have been living here for a month. We yeah. quite like these long-term rentals because we can get out of the backpack. That's right. So much of our life is in the backpack, which can be sort of tiring. And of course, I like to cook, so I like the kitchen. Yes, of course, people remember <laughs> this kitchen from the cooking biryani video. Yeah. Uh, we do have a balcony, which is pretty sweet. I think there's a word for this type of balcony. I don't know yeah. what it is. French balcony or something? It's pretty small. It's just more like tiny. a smoking section, really. But we don't <laughs> smoke. But it's just a little area here. Um, this restaurant downstairs is actually pretty popular. It seems like there's always people here, and we've uh, never been there once. Yeah. So, we were trying to think, but, uh, this is our neighborhood, pretty quiet and, uh, you know, quiet and safe, it seems. That's our living room. This is a living room. I will say the biggest complaint of this apartment is couch stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the cushions on the bottom don't want to stay on the bottom. When you sit there, you slowly fall back. Yeah. Not a big deal. But if, you can also turn it into a bed. It's also but a it's bed, not the best. which is why it's a questionable couch. Um, yeah. If it's our biggest complaint, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So far, so good in Romania with all our friends. That's right. But uh, the couch is not. Yeah. The so best far, ever. we got living room, kitchen, dining table, and a TV. TV. And this is kind of where we spend most of our time. Yeah. Working, watching TV. I will say on TV, every day, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, four yeah, episodes. So popular Four episodes here. every day. And, and uh, another show that is popular, Big Bang. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. True. It's like in maybe two channels and they play it like all day. Yeah, 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 true. Now we'll go to the bathroom. I guess there's uh, our clothes in here. Maybe we won't show you all of our stuff, but this is like a uh, wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And then the bathroom. I would say, I think this is a bidet potentially, mm -hmm. or maybe it's a foot cleaner. I still have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Yvonne and I have been using it as a foot cleaner because uh, unfortunately the shower drain is always clogged. Mm -hmm. That's the other complaint. Not a big deal, but um, sometimes your feet feel dirty. So we shower and then we clean our feet in what might be a bidet. Yeah. But anyway, small and simple bathroom, nothing special. And then the master bedroom, guys. Ooh. Wow. Uh, simple again. Is this a double bed or a queen bed? I don't know. I think it's double. I think it's double bed. Double bed, night tables, another uh, small balcony. And this is it. Same view. Same spot here. Yeah. I mean, can't Ooh, go it's wrong. quite bright outside right now. I think we did a pretty <laughs> good uh, pretty good job. 758 per month. I mean, we had a great month. Yeah. 758 US dollars US per, per month. month. It's more expensive than Albania, but we are also in the city center. And we're in one of the Bucharest. nicest neighborhoods. Yeah. So we're like a 10 minute walk from, or 12 minute walk from University Square, mm -hmm. and then past University Square, it's not even 10 minutes to Old Town. Yeah. So you're like 20 minutes from Old Town walking. Yeah, that's right. And it's pretty nice, as well as there's a subway station at University yeah. uh, Square. So I quite right. like this location. Yeah, we had a great first month in Romania. Mm -hmm. We've got some big ideas coming soon because um, we had such a good first month. We met so many people and so far so good yeah so with that maybe we'll go downstairs and walk around the neighborhood yeah. we can show you where we get groceries we can show you our corner store we can go for a, a drink if you want there's yeah. like a local bar that's quite um it's funny we never had a drink downstairs <laughs> yeah. it's because when we got here we knew kathleen and adrian and yeah Mike we, and, and, always and they know the, all the places yeah so this place is popular but it's you know we just never been okay anyway let's, let's go. go for a walk and we can uh show you the streets of our neighborhood. Let's go! Lobby. 
and here is the popular restaurant that we never tried. Yeah, just below of our apartment building right here. We will say another beautiful day. Yeah. Over 30 every day on the hand. <laughs> That's Seems true. Like it, right? Summertime, summertime. Yeah. No, that's the restaurant. Oh, part of the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. With lots of wine selection. So this way, if you hang a right, like a two or three minute walk, is our corner store. Mm -hmm. It's called Shop and Go. I think it's owned by Mega Image. Yeah, Mega Image is the most popular grocery, grocery store. Grocery shop. Like, really big one. Yeah. But Shop and Go is a smaller one. They do have some veggies and stuff like onions and tomatoes, but mostly it's like a corner store, convenience store. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But we won't go that way today. We'll go this way to our Mega Image, which is our big grocery store. And then we'll go down the street and uh, maybe have a drink. Yes. But you can see pretty quiet neighborhood. Nothing really happening. Uh, I think it's a one-way street. And it's almost never traffic on it. That's right. Like no cars or anything. No cars. And we got a gas station right here. Yes. Or a uh, petrol. Not gas Wait, station. Uh, right there, five eighty-seven a liter. Mhm. Mm Quite expensive. Five eighty-seven per liter. So that means. Uh, like a dollar twenty-five American a liter. Oh wow! It is expensive. Forty maybe. Yeah, it's quite expensive. Okay. Maybe that's why Uber is not very popular here. Yeah, it's funny that there's almost no Ubers. There yeah, were times there is Uber where Uber. we were ordering Uber and it would say no cars available. Yeah, yeah. I've never saw that before. Yeah, exactly. There is Uber, but uh, it depends. Sometimes there is no cars yeah. available. Yeah. So also and because the public transport is pretty good, maybe. Yeah, maybe the public so transport. Yeah. Okay, here's a super massive intersection. We thought we were unique being near this intersection, but they're all over Bucharest. <laughs> wild intersection. With yeah, this is the main road. And like a streetcar or a trolley. Yeah. Trolley bus going through it. And okay, that's. Where we do our groceries at Mega Image. Right there. All right, there let's. You have it, guys. Now we're on the main street, a little bit louder. Actually, this little alleyway over here, this is where uh, two days ago, Yvonne and I got our AstraZeneca and Pfizer shots. <laughs> What's wrong? Tastes horrible. Oh, I don't know if I will have my second dose of the AstraZeneca. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so obviously just a beer garden there. Ivana and I decided to play a little <laughs> trick on you, but we've been walking for about four or five minutes and there's another mega image behind me. Oh, yeah, right so there. two mega images in like three blocks and a shop and go, which yeah. I think is owned by mega image, but I could be wrong. It's just the same color scheme I and same. So pricing now if we were to walk up here about three or four more minutes we would be at university square which has a subway uh station as well as the big university that you guys have seen um but i think just before that we'll hang a left and go to a pretty popular local bar maybe have a drink and then uh see where we end up look at this mcdonald's ad actually it looks so good but i'm sure in reality, it won't look like that. <laughs> oh, they've actually got a chef, like a proper chef ordered from McDonald's. Oh, I wonder if they have meat in their burger or something. Oh, we should like, check if there's a meat at McDonald's. Yeah. Sometimes McDonald's has local... Yeah. That would be amazing. Local menu. It probably wouldn't be right, though. It wouldn't be... <laughs> you know? That's McDonald's true. Meat, I think I I th maybe the Romanian people will complain. Why do you put meat in McDonald's Yo, burger? If you're Romanian, let us know. If, if McDonald's had meat, would you try it? <laughs> I don't know if it would be good. <laughs> That's funny. Again, lots of graffitis. Graffitis, graffitis. Yeah, it's just part of it in Bucharest. Yeah. I kind of like it becomes kind of the so a of character. Even, some of it you can't even read. Like, what does that say? Where? W E A R? Where? Yeah, this one I can read. Where? Not too bad. There's some serious skill involved. Like, there's artwork happening. <laughs> really, it's not just garbage. Like, it's something. Yeah, it's like a character now for the city. It's just part of the city. It mm -hmm. really is part of it. Yeah. You just kind of, your eyeballs get used to it. Yeah. When we first arrived, I was like, I would notice it. Now it's just part of the city. Right. 
And right in front of the bar, yet another intersection that's sort of potentially confusing. <laughs> so tomorrow we are starting our road trip. Um, we're gonna get out of Bucharest as fast as we can. Wow. So my first time driving in Romania. Are you and nervous? Things like this, I'm gonna be the guy doing the <laughs> wrong thing and everyone's going, what are you doing? I go, oh, I'm no. stuck here now, I can't move. So we're gonna try to get out of Bucharest as fast as we can. All right. Anyway. All right. Uh, look at this. Outdoors, but in the shade. I will say this. Our place in Albania was uh, $500 a month. Yeah. And this one is $758. $750. So, like 50% more. This is why Ivana and I use the term uh, value. It's not about uh, cheap or affordable, it's about the value. I would say yeah. both places, Albania and Romania, um, Tirana and Bucharest, equal value. Both very good value. Yes. Different price, but each country has a completely different relationship with money. Oh, there's Hello. a menu. Hello. 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 Thank you. So, um, I would say very good value here in Bucharest. For that place we stayed, I would stay there again. All nice right. area, nice price. Yeah. And it was, it was the cheapest I found on Airbnb with that type of space. It was good value. Yeah. It was worth it. Yeah. We like the place. Okay, let's order some drinks. Sounds good. And look at Ivana's drink. Very nice. So there you have it, guys. Just a simple video today. Our review of our stay in Bucharest. I will say, if you want to stay in the old town, that's sort of the hot spot for partying and everything. Um, it's going to be a lot more expensive than our place. Um, we did party in the old town quite a few times and once we walked home at like 1 30 in the morning two o'clock in the morning yeah. and it's totally safe yeah. so i think it's really good value to stay within a 15 or 20 minute walk of the old town save some money and you can still go there and have all the fun and do all the yeah. things and it's totally safe and of course if you want to save even more money on your accommodation go outside for even more further than the yeah. old town. Yeah, the further you get, the cheaper it'll be. Yeah. I think we're in a pretty good spot. We're still close enough to walk to the old town and still far enough where it's uh, more affordable. Yes. Good value. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, quick video today. Just but... quick and simple, but uh, I think it can be helpful for travelers. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, so. guys. Cheers. Cheers.